Hello, this is Aymatit with Samuel Okay. This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in this lesson, we'll be focusing on the associative law of logic, or should I say the associative law of logical reasoning. The associative law is one of the algebraic laws of um, logical statements. So, and it's com it comprises of two major parts. Um, the first part of it states that um, P and Q in bracket and R is equal to P and Q and R in bracket. The second part is P or Q in bracket or R is equal to P or Q or R in bracket. So simply put, this um, compound statement can be summarized as saying conjunction and disjunction are associative, just like in algebra. So conjunction and disjunction are associative, just like addition and multiplication are um, associative in algebra. Okay, so we need to prove this. So, and how do we do that? We we'll simply um, draw the truth table for each of the statements side by side so that we can compare and um, see that um, they are the same, they are equal. So, we are going to draw the truth table for P and Q and R, P and Q in brackets. Then we we'll draw the table for P and Q and R, Q and R in brackets. So, for the first table, we need P, Q, R. We need P and Q, and finally, the very compound statement in question, P and Q in bracket, and R. So let's get right into it. So because we have three statements here, three simple statements here, so we are going to be having eight possible conditions. True, true, true. Um, true, true, false. True, false, true. Um, true, false, false. Um, please check, watch the video on the um, logical reasoning that we I have on this channel. So we are having problem with um, um, getting this. So and false, false, true, and the last one is false, false, false. These are the eight possible conditions for this compound statement. Since we have on um, three. Simple logical statements in full. The next statement is AND statement, it's a conjunction. So we have P and Q. Remember, for AND statement to be true, both statements need to be true. So, but if the truth value for one of the statements is true and the other is false, then the truth value for the statement will be false. And that is how we obtain this. So the next statement is AND as well. So, but here we are using the colon for P and Q together with the colon for R. So remember, for and statement to be true, both need to be true. If one is false, then the compound statement to be false. So false and false is false. So and that's how we obtain that. And that's it. So let's go on and obtain the truth table for the second statement. On that table, we are going to need P, Q, R, Q and R on the table. We would also need um, the very compound statement in question, P and bracket open Q and R in brackets, close. So let's do that. Like the other one, since we have three compound statements here, um, three simple statements involved, there will be eight conditions. True, 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 false, true, false, true, true, false, 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 true true false true false 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 true and false 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 so the next statement is and statement so you can see we write it in such a way that we'll be able to compare so for and statement to be true both need to be true so q and r we would use now so true and true True and true is true. True and false is false. True and true again is true. 
True and false is false. False and true is true. False and false is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. So, okay. Now, let's obtain the very compound statements and statement as well. So, true and true is true. True and false is false. True and false is false. True and false again is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. The rest are false. So, and that's it. Now, you will notice in both table, only the false condition is um, half truth as the truth value on the truth table. So, you can see that the truth table is identical. Both tables are identical. So, this statement is true. It's um, correct. Okay. So, let's go on and prove the next part of this law. So, and um, we we'll need the truth table for P and Q. Excuse me. P or Q in brackets. Or R. So, then we would need the truth table for P or brackets upon Q or R. So let's do this first. So for this, we will need P on the table. We will need Q. We will need R. We will need P or Q on our table. We would then need um, the very compound statement in question. P or Q in bracket or R. So I can see that. I hope you are getting this right. So if you have any problem with conjunction and disjunction, there is some dedicated lesson on conjunction and disjunction on this channel. So let's put down the eight possible condition. True, false, um, false, true, true. False, true, false. False, false, true. And false, false, false. Okay? Okay. So the next statement is all statement. If one of the statement is true, and the truth value is true. So P or Q, all these are true because one of the statement is true. False or true is true. Now false or false is false. And the last one too is false or false is false. Now we would use the column for P or Q then together with R. So as long as one of the statement is true, then the truth value will be true. So true or true, true or false is true. So and that too is true. So you notice all of these are the truth value is true because one of the statements the truth value for one of the statements is true except for the last two where both statements happen to be false and that is the truth table for p or q or r please if you are getting value from this lesson remember to hit the like button so you, can, you should you can also subscribe if you would like to see more educational content like this so also write in the comment section which which topic you are currently practicing math that you would like to see a lesson on this channel. So let's draw the truth table for P or in bracket Q or R. So on our table, we needed P, we need um, Q, we need R, we need that um, Q or R, then we need that P or bracket. Q or R bracket close. So let's put down the conditions, the possible conditions. True, true, true. True, true, false. True, false, true. Um, true, false, false. Um, false, true, true. False, true, false. False, false, true and false 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 so the first this next statement we are dealing with is all statement is a disjunction so q or r so true or true is true true or false is true true so we just need one of the statement to be true so obtain true as the truth value for the statement so if both happen to be false that is the only condition for which the truth statement will be false so let's see the final statement here. So this will be true. It's also a uh, disjunction or statement. If one of the statement is true, then the truth value for the statement will be true. 
so you can see um it's only false in the very last um, statement and you can see that it's the same on the other table now you see at this point that these tables are identical so this statement holds true so and this is the associative law of logic there are lessons on the other um, laws of logic on this channel so you can look into them so and um please if you get value from this lesson remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this also check other video on logic on this channel well until next time keep matching it keep winning